Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Drone Fluence. Drone Fluence is an initiative from National Skills Network where we bring you various perspectives, viewpoints and latest updates of the emerging drone industry in India. If you have been following us on our channel, you know that we have been featuring several stakeholders from the emerging drone ecosystem in India. So today we have with us Mr. Vijay Ji, who has completed his drone pilot training from Dronacharya Aerial Innovations Limited and is now working as a trainer at the same institute. So without much delay, let's go ahead and hear from him how his interest in drones has started, how was the experience with drone pilot training and what he looks forward to in his career. But before we do, I request you all to please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any interesting videos from us in the future. So hi Vijay, welcome to Drone Fluence. Thank you for joining us today and uh, we are very excited for having this interaction with you on our platform to help our audience understand more about you and more about the drone pilot training that you have gone through. So why don't you start by introducing yourself and something about you. First of all, good afternoon to everyone. My name is Vijay Ghanwat and I'm from Pune itself. I've done my graduation in physics, that is BS in physics and MSc in defense and strategic studies from Pune University itself. Before joining this firm, I was preparing for some different things. I mean, uh, getting into drone industry was not, you know, uh, my uh, initial idea, but somehow I get into it. I joined Dronacharya in last year, uh, that is September 2021. And from starting day, I've been into training team. And suddenly that, you know, that training thing and working with Dronacharya develops the uh, the passion or you may, you, may, you can say uh, uh, likeness towards the drones and its application. Uh, when I joined, I was not aware of uh, any application of the drones. Uh, I have seen the drone only in the, uh, you know, the marriages function and uh, for video shooting itself. But as soon as I get into Dronacharya and start exploring more about the drone and its technology, so the uh, the application part of it got you know much closer to me. There are so many applications of the drone, so I get to know about that each and every aspect of the uh, drone, its maintenance, its technology, and as well yes uh, the application part of it. And in the month of May, I have cleared the uh, the digital. Uh, DGCA, uh, I've, be, I've become the DGCA approved drone pilot. And in the last uh, two months only, I've become the DGCA certified drone instructor. So okay. this, was, this is how my journey was <laughs> up till now, at least. So you have tra trained yourself in drone pilot training and then now you are also a certified trainer. Yeah, yeah, yes, ma'am. Okay. That's good to hear, Vijay, your story and your interest, how it started. So like you said, uh, you have a background in physics and then you have yeah. also done your master's. So did that help yeah. you in your drone uh, pilot training or uh, is it uh, has it helped you in your training? Uh, basically, the uh, technical aspect, I can say, yes, the BS in physics developed, you know, that helped me to understand mm -hmm. its mechanics and there are so many forces acting on the drone while uh, you are flying it. There are so many science behind it that the uh, the graduation helps me to understand the basic science behind the each and every you know the uh, maneuvers or you can say each and every aspect of drone flying. And the master itself, I can say that yes, the I have done master in defense and strategic studies. But as soon as I get into Dronacharya, I came to know about its application in defense as well. There are so many applications in defense forces of the drones. Uh, yeah, yeah, that connect me with the uh, my education and uh, my uh, profession as well. Yeah. Okay. So while getting into drone pilot training, did you want to train for any specific industry or you just wanted to get pilot training and then see what opportunities are out there? How was it? Uh, yeah, basically, uh, get, getting trained is the main aspect, I can say. Mm -hmm. As soon as you get trained, you will come to know about uh, each and every industry. Where you are capable of enough, uh, you can join in, in uh, any industry. The, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Once you get trained, you will uh, come to know about the uh, each and every industry. Okay, so you trained it for general drone pilot training. And exactly, that can yes, be applied for any other industry. Any other, any other industry, yes. Okay. 
So how was your experience of learning uh, drone flying at Dronacharya? What all did you learn? Okay, the overall experience was very fantastic, I can say. Uh, the training uh, lasts till five days. For first two days, uh, we, uh, we covered uh, the theoretical part of uh, training. And on the second day, there was a hands-on experience on the simulator uh, software as well. Third, mm -hmm. fourth, and fifth day, we were actually flying the drone on ground. So as I said, that this, this thing was very new to me. So it was very excited to fly the drone practically on ground. And yes, it was very interesting and, you know, yeah. So uh, did you also learn how to repair a drone, how to maintain it, or what to do when your drone gets stuck somewhere? You were also taught yes. all Okay. Yes, during the training curriculum itself, there, there is one part about uh, drone maintenance and mm -hmm. uh, the uh, various parts of the drone. We get to know about the each and every parts, what happened uh, when uh, a single part get, you know, uh, uh, did not work very well, how to get back your drone manually. Mm -hmm. uh, while during flight as well, uh, when the connection loss happens, what to do? I mean, mm -hmm. how to get back your drone safely? Because the drone is not a, 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 you know, it is not a just a toy. That is, it is a very expensive thing. So we have been trained if while uh, during flying, if anything mishap happens, how to get back your drone safely? The, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, Vijay, I understand you had a background in physics that helped you understand a uh, few technicalities of flying a drone. But do you yes, think people from any background can take up drone pilot training if they are interested? Absolutely, ma'am. Absolutely. I mean, there is no any such barrier for, you know, uh, you, that one should have this much of a particular uh, uh, educational background. There is no any, anything such that. Any, anyone, any person who has the, you know, a passion towards drone flying, he can join it uh, easily. Because mm -hmm. I have seen many people who are from uh, arts background, commerce background, but they are now uh, drone pilots. Okay. So yes, uh, according to you, Vijay, what kind of opportunities does drone pilot training uh, open up? Okay. Now, as I said, there are so many industries which they are using drone as in their mm -hmm. asset. For example, uh, the insurance sector, you can say. If uh, mm -hmm. one has to, you know, do insurance of its uh, of his particular, for example, uh, building or house. Now, insurance sector they are using the drone for the uh, pre acquisition purpose, and in agriculture as well, there are drone are being used for pesticides, pesticide spraying or aerial mapping. Agriculture as well, they are using drones for and firefighting as well. They are using drones mm -hmm. nowadays. So there are so many industry where if you are a good trained pilot, if you are a certified pilot, you can get opportunity easily. Okay, so there are many industries that are now accepting drones, like you said. Yeah, and yeah. drones is yes, one of the emerging sectors in India that is opening exactly. a lot of career opportunities. Uh, exactly. So, yeah. So Vijay, what would be your message for others who who are interested in drone pilot training but they don't know how to get started? What would you suggest them? <laughs> So first of all, I will say, as per the vision of our uh, Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, he has to make India as a drone hub. And uh, by to 2030, uh, he's planning to, uh, you know, train more than one lakh drone pilots. So there are, I will just say that there are so many opportunities in this particular mm -hmm. industry. If you have to start, just go through any, uh, just go to any RPTO and generate your own uh, remote pilot certification. So don't worry about the opportunity. There are n number of opportunity mm -hmm. in the drones. Yeah. Yeah. So is there anything else you would like to mention, Vijay, apart from what we discussed? Achha. Uh Like you said a few minutes ago that one should have a particular uh, educational background or yeah. not. I will say just get into drone industry. I mean, there is one said in the, you know, armed forces that leaders are not, not uh, you know, born, they are made. Yeah. Just like that, the drone pilots are not born, they have to be made. So, training makes man perfect. That's it, mm -hmm. I will say. Okay. So, if you are, if you are uh, good enough to train for the this particular industry, you will get uh, n number of opportunity or you will be a certified drone pilot. So, mm -hmm. I will just say, just go to go for the training and become a trustworthy 
a drone pilot <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Vijay, I would like to know what are the other opportunities uh, for people to train apart from drone pilot training, uh, like drone, okay. drone data analytics data or uh, yeah, yeah, data yeah, processing. Yeah, yeah. So, what are the other courses yeah. people can do uh, if they are interested in drones? Okay, if the people are interested in drones, first of all, they can go for GS for drone data processing uh, part. Uh, the correlation between drone data processing and drone is that once drone is capturing any data, that mm -hmm. data has to be, has to be you know uh, go through that GIS software. So mm -hmm. if we combine both the things, you uh, you will be a good entrepreneur. I, I can say the drone mm -hmm. data captured and that is that has been used in the GIS software. You can get a particular ortho mosaic map. You say that along with that, go for Python uh, training, Python coding. Because so many companies are trying, applying, uh, they are trying to get drone in the AI model. See, machine learning purpose, they are using Python uh, language as well. So one can go to for, for the uh, Python coding as well. So mm -hmm. these three are uh, completely, you know, uh, completely uh, correlated uh, field, I can say. Okay. I think there are also opportunities in drone uh, building and drone servicing. Yes, 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 yes. Drone servicing, uh, as per now, there are so uh, very uh, few industry in India oh, who are doing drone maintenance. Uh, if one is technical sound enough, he can get into drone maintenance for uh, the business as well. Okay. So, yes. Uh, uh, so, thank you, Vijay, uh, for sharing some interesting insights sir, about your drone pilot training at Drone Acharya and also the career yes, opportunities that people can get into in this field. Uh, so thank yes, you for joining us today and I hope our audience also find it interesting and useful. Uh, yeah, okay. thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Have a good day, ma'am. Thank you.